Now, as some people will know, I joined a film club. And as happens at these sort of things, there's a whole group of people there. And sometimes you make a friend. There's a certain chemistry between you. And uh, unexplained quite what it is. But I made a friend with a chap named James. And we got talking about filming. And he had this idea for a one-minute short film about a coach wrench. And he doesn't do filming, so he wanted me to film it. So this was fairly early on in our friendship, and he wanted to enter it into a competition with the some IAC, which is a some overarching film people. Um, I had an idea for a film with coach wrenches as well but uh, never did mine, but we did his more or less straight away uh, when the friendship developed. But humour's a strange manifestation. One person may find a sketch sort of side-splittingly funny, whereas another, it just might leave them cold. Um, absolute no reaction. And I filmed this sketch, but I couldn't find any humour in it. Uh, and I told James so on many occasions, but he does see it as funny. And there must be others out there in YouTube land who also find it funny. Um, so please do comment below. After the video, I'm going to say what the funny thing is about the film. And also, I've got here the, the IAC comments on the film. So, enjoy the coach wrench. The coach bolt has a domed head with a square underneath. This can be hammered into the drilled hole and fix itself in the coach chassis. The smooth shaft and threaded portion fits through the second beam at 90 degrees. The idea being that the two are not held together in a fixed way but free to move. The nut and washer at the bottom liable to fall off but leaving the bolt in situ. The coach wrench is then an adjustable spanner to tighten the assembly. Did you see the humour? Well, I'll tell you what it was if you didn't. It's that the picture and the, the narrative is about a coach bolt and a person may be asking in their little mind, where's the coach wrench? And then the picture zooms out to reveal lots and lots of coach wrenches. So here's the comments from the IAC judges. Graham Pitt wrote, as a single shot of a static object where the only movement, that of the camera zooming out, is jerky, this piece limits its own appeal, which is not furthered by the quality of sound with its background noise. Well, we just did it on the video camera. Lee Prescott wrote, This lecture is rather flat in approach. Stilted by lack of movement, it could have raised interest by showing involving the items in applicative use, thus generating a complete informative snapshot. As it is, it lacks something that could have been really interesting. Now, I felt the third comment is the best one, and this is a woman, presumably, Pip Crichton. This was an unusual film in that it consisted of one static shot. It didn't, if I didn't already know what a coach bolt was, I would have found it difficult to see the detail of the square neck below the head. This could have been improved by more shots showing greater detail of what the narrative was talking about. I felt this did not meet the brief of being light-hearted. Perhaps I missed the point, 
Perhaps it was a tongue-in-cheek film. I found it odd that bird noises and traffic could be heard in the background, which had no relevance to the topic. Maybe this would be a film that someone would search for on YouTube who was seeking information. Hmm. There's not that much information in it really, is there? Anyway, let me know what you think. Bye for now.